We're primarily used to Blue Origin announcing things after the fact. But at a recent conference, they actually have released new details about their rocket, new Glenn, and potential customers. And this is your Space Pod for March 14th, 2017. No, really, Blue Origin is about as secret as it gets in new space. But at the recent 2017 satellite conference, they actually threw us a few bones about their new big rocket, New Glenn. An impressive vehicle, the two-stage variant of the New Glenn rocket stands at 270 feet tall, with a three-stage variant standing in at 313 feet tall. The first stage will be powered by a cluster of seven BE-4 engines, a liquid natural gas, liquid oxygen, stage combustion rocket engine, which is being designed and built in-house at Blue Origin. The BE-4 will put out 550,000 pounds of thrust, making for a total at liftoff of 3.85 million pounds of thrust. And the second stage will use a single BE-4 engine. New Glenn in its two-stage configuration can lift nearly 13 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit. However, if your destination is a bit closer in low Earth orbit, expect that payload delivered to go up to a whopping 45 metric tons. And the three-stage configuration will likely be reserved for deep space payloads. And since all the cool kids are doing reusability nowadays, the first stage of New Glenn is designed to be fully reusable. Using its rocket engines and with fins and six landing legs, New Glenn will land on a barge out at sea. It will then be brought back to be refurbished and ready to fly again, potentially up to 100 times per first stage. Also, the first fully assembled BE-4 engine was revealed in a tweet from Jeff Bezos, the founder of Blue Origin, who noted that the second and third engines are not too far behind in manufacturing. It's expected that the first full hot fire test will be conducted by the end of the year. And that's not all the good news that Blue Origin announced at the 2017 satellite conference. They actually have two customers lined up to fly. French-based Eutelsat has announced that they're going to fly one of their satellites to geosynchronous orbit on a new Glenn as soon as 2021. Now, this is a big win for Blue Origin because Eutelsat is one of the three largest providers of communications from space. In addition, startup OneWeb has announced that they will launch some of their 900 satellite constellation to low Earth orbit on a new Glenn. And OneWeb, of course, is going to be providing internet access from satellites in low Earth orbit. If you're like me and a big fan of multiple companies coming together in order to compete in spaceflight, then this announcement was a big deal and also a very exciting one as well. And it's very nice that Blue Origin is starting to become a little more public instead of that secret one that isn't going to tell you anything about what they're doing. Jeff, if you're watching, thanks for being less secret. It gets everybody a little more excited about the future of spaceflight. Thanks for watching the Space Pod. I'm Jared Head. What do you think of Blue Origin's new rocket and some of their customers? Well, let us know in the comments below. And of course, you can reach tomorrow on our various social media outlets, such as Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit. And of course, a huge, huge thank you to all of our Space Pod Patreon patrons. Without your support, we wouldn't be able to do these Space Pods so that we can inspire and excite the world about space. So again, a huge, huge thank you to you all. So, until the next space pod, keep exploring.